Hey, Internet! Color Flarty's back for more Harvest Moon 64! Let's see what we've got in store today. We've got sunny weather tomorrow, that's a plus. And, okay, before I start, I should probably talk a little bit more about what the perfect game entails. So, I've mentioned several times in this Let's Play that I'm going for the perfect game or the best ending. Let me, I should probably explain that a little more. So, technically, it is impossible to get 100% in Harvest Moon 64. Aside from the fact that you can only marry one girl for a playthrough, there's also, it's impossible to get everything in the game. So, I've mentioned before there are the special items over here. Well, there are four special items here that are birthday presents you get from girls. There's also another birthday present, which is a picture that hangs up on your wall. In order to get these birthday presents, you, uh, basically on your birthday, the girl with the highest affection will give you a present. And it only happens when you are single. So, if you want to get all the birthday presents, you need to be playing for five years, all while you're single. Naturally, that's a long time. But apart from that, that one of our photos in our photo album, specifically the last one, requires you to be married and have a kid by year three. Since it's impossible to get all the birthday presents and all the photo albums, or all the photos in the photo album, I'm just gonna go after the photo album in this playthrough. I will get one of the girls' birthday presents, but only one of them. I should also mention why I'm on such a tight time crunch. So there are the five girls you can woo in the game. Uh, Papori's... Papori's special, so basically each of them has a special photo event that you can get. And Papori's is different from the others, but for all the other girls you need to have them at a pink heart and you need to be single on the date in order to get their photo. Because we need to want to get married in year one, we need to get all of these four special photos year one. Which means we need to get them to a pink heart by the date you, uh, of the photo event. So in this case, Maria's photo event happens in summer. Karen's and Ellie's happens in fall, and Anne's happens in winter. So that's why we're on a tight time crunch to get the girls up to maximum affection. Also, tomorrow is going to be a festival day, so... My mistake, tomorrow is not going to be a festival day. Also, I voted the wrong save state, so that's part of it. Whoops! Yeah, this is better. One of the... <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay. Here we go. Hey! Hello, the sewing festival will be held in the square tomorrow. Join us if you like. Well, goodbye. See you later. So yeah, the sewing festival will happen tomorrow. We'll get into the festival when it happens. Hey, Tobias. Remember to whistle to your horse and talk to it every day to boost its affection. Because our horse, we actually do care about boosting its affection. Alright, I'm going to try doing something a little bit differently today. I'm going to start by picking the stuff in the mine and basically work from the farthest back part of the forest and forage everything starting to the closest. So when we have to go back for round two, all the stuff will be right there. That'll save us a bit of time. Nice very berry fruit. Also, this screen is called the Bog Goddess Pond. We'll get more into why it's called the Goddess Pond later. But basically, something special is going to happen here uh, once we start. Once we get chickens. And yeah, we're still ignoring half the villagers. <laughs> or I guess it's not a village. Uh, yeah, it is. Flower Bud Village, not Flower Bud Town. Hey, horse. All right, it's Sunday, so Rick's is going to be closed. If Rick's is open, then you should definitely give him a gift every day. But in the meantime, we made some good money by doing that. Hey, horse. The problem is, once you pet and whistle for your horse, he'll start chasing you around. And he can often get in your way by doing that. Yep, and now we're coming back for those two items. Alright, let's go to Flower Bud Village. It's the midwife! Oh, you must be the son of the farm! Yes, I'm the son of the farm itself. 
<laughs> the name's Artie, nice to meet you. What, the grandson? You've grown so much, I didn't recognize you. Well, nice to see you too, the midwife, if that's your real name. Hey, Maria. So thank you very much. Do you like books? It's just that you come here so often. <laughs> oh, someone's a little embarrassed. Oh, come on, Maria, you're really cute, so... That's definitely part of it. <laughs> also, I want to get a photo with you eventually. Man, I'm sounding like a real creeper. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot. Something I should mention. So, you've probably noticed by now that the NPCs in the game have had different schedules depending on what day it is. So, like, Ellie is usually in the bakery, but sometimes I've been in there and she was not there. Like, for example, there's the one day she was outside the bakery near her grandma. Yeah, each NPC has a special schedule for a given day. Ellie is very interesting in that on Sunday, she just flat out disappears from the game. I have literally never seen Ellie on a Sunday, ever. So that's kind of funny. And like, extensive testing has been done for that, and like, it's very hard to find Ellie on a Sunday. Also, if we go down here, never showed this off, this is the Flower Bud Beach. And Karen will always be here on Sunday. Also, Karen... No! Ha. Huh. I was going to give the uh, very berry to Karen. She really likes those. I'd at least like to get Karen to a... To, like, a blue heart before fall. <laughs> I like to do that naturally, but whatever. Well, gee. We've got extra time today. So I'll fill that up. Also, I'm gonna find the treasure today. So you remember this spot I dug? Keep digging here. I think if you do it ten times, you will get a special prize. Yep, there we go! That's a special item. It's the broken music box. It sounds strange. So this is uh, one of the many, many glitches in the game. So the music box is supposed to be in the game. So basically you get this, it's broken, and if you befriend Rick, he'll fix it up for you. And then once it's fixed, you can give it to a girl of your choice. Which, giving a girl a music box massively boosts their affection. Like, massively. Really helps. However, there's only one in the game. Or at least that's what the designers intended. As it turns out, once you fix the music box, the broken one reappears in the ground on that spot, so you can dig up a new one. Do not dig up a new one until you've given the fixed music box to a girl, though, because otherwise you will have a broken music box and a fixed music box in your inventory, and you can never get a new broken one. But yeah, we'll be using that. And that's why we want to befriend Rick, because once he starts fixing music boxes, he'll fix one a day for us. And, uh... We can just get, keep giving it to Maria, which really helps get her You know what? Not a big deal. That's actually not a big deal, because that means I can water the middle crop. I almost reset for that, but... Like I said, now I can water the middle crop even once it starts growing. This is all steady ship and I'm taking it, okay? Whew! It's hard work being a farmer. Alright. Today did not go quite as planned, but that's fine. I was hoping to give Karen the very berry fruit, but that didn't work out. So tomorrow's gonna be a festival day, and basically what that means is none of the NPCs will appear on the map. And because they're all at the festival, and basically we're gonna go to town square before I believe five o'clock, or maybe it's before six o'clock, and then uh, the festival will take place. So we literally have pretty much the whole day just to do whatever we want. Oh, it's so tiring. Okay, it's getting pretty late, so we'll smash a few rocks. Hitbox on the rocks can be weird sometimes. That's good. We're also going to do a little something different in that tomorrow we're going to start by watering our crops. Actually, no we're not. 
We're going to start by foraging as usual. And also, because I forgot... Uh, I was intending on giving one of those flowers to Ellie because I forgot it was Sunday. And the other flower to Anne. Didn't find Anne that day, so... I'm actually going to throw those flowers away. And that's that. What's tomorrow's weather going to be like? Sunny as always. It can be a different weather besides sunny. It's just <laughs> the game doesn't really want it to be sunny. Or doesn't want it to be rainy. Rainy days, like, they're kind of, like, actually really good at the beginning of the game because it's essentially you don't have to water your crops that day, which is awesome. The flip side of that, of course, uh, is that it's easier to get sick when it's in the rain, and the NPCs tend to all be inside. So it can mess up the NPC posi positioning. But honestly, like I felt, I feel at the beginning of the game, rainy days are amazing, and then later on in the game, rainy days are really annoying. And I'll get in a little more into wh the why it's annoying later. But basically. If you want to keep your animals outside to keep them happy and not have to feed them, you have to take them inside when it's gonna rain. Eh. Come on, Jack, you're faster than that. Oh man, and because it's a festival day, I can't buy a chicken today. I have enough money for a chicken. Oh well, I guess this means I have enough money at the end of the- Oh actually no, I forgot. Zack doesn't actually pay you for the, your shipments on festival days. So he's gonna pay for all this stuff, uh, tomorrow. That's also another interesting thing about festivals. Alright, my goal, it's not, it's not even noon yet, so my goal is to just water all my crops and get to the festival in time. I have a safe state just in case. Also, my potatoes are starting to grow, hooray! Not sure where my horse is, but he can follow me if he wants. Ooh, my cabbages are almost grown! That'll be a happy day. So yeah, now I can walk in this corner and water up there. So that's nice. I should get rid of that stump. That's gonna be really annoying. Alright, uh... Oh yeah, I, sh I should have plenty of time. Cool. Crops are watered, time to go to the sewing festival. Sewing festival is extremely boring the first year. It can get a little more exciting in the future years. But honestly, it's just a pretty boring festival all in all. So yep, go up here to town square. This year's king is the potion shop dealer. That's his name. Please sow the seeds, good luck. Herchichisk, <laughs> making such an old man do the job. What hard masters. Okay, so I just want to say that Harvest Festival, basically, like, it takes the five, I think, like, most fit and able men in the village, and they can be Harvest King. This means, before I came to town, the, the potion shop dealer was the next most eligible man to do the job. Kind of weird. Who are you going to choose for an assistant? My grandchild wants to go. Hey, Stu. Is it really okay, Kent? No problem, I don't like high places. Oh, the potion shop dealer is going to sow seeds. Let's go! So they get in a hot air balloon, and yay, we wave to them. And now all we have to do is basically talk to all the NPCs in the festival. Hello, the mayor. 
Oh, you came! Everybody except the king fixes seeds to a balloon and lets it fly. You can go to the forest dealer to get it. The purpose of this festival is to give the earth a breath of spring. It's no fun being the elder brother. I hope many new flowers sprout this year, too. It's a kind of girl theme, this festival. <laughs> Anne is very much a tomboy, so she's not really into the girly girl stuff. The wind is blowing to the northeast this year, so they'll fly toward the mountain. The king rides into the balloon and sows the flower seeds. That is true. Hi, you can get a balloon from the forest. I put in a nut seed too, that's a secret. I wish flowers could blossom in the water and in the clouds too. Yeah, Popor Popper. I keep calling her Popori, but it's technically her name is Poppery, like the flower. She's very into the girly girl stuff. You're the last one. Is it okay to give the sign to let them fly? Is there anything left undone? Ah, uh, no, nothing. We always get a white balloon. Okay, everybody, let the balloons fly. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I need to make a save state right here. Just because we don't actually get the chance to write in the diary today. Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. Yeah, so you'll notice the day just ended automatically right there. That's important to note, you do not get to save right after a festival. So if you, like, point to this day and I were to stop right now, I would have to do the festival day again. So that's important to note. Alright. Ah, sun, sun, sun. Why can't it be rainy? Also, f interesting fact, if it's raining on a festival day, most festivals, it'll look like it's sunny and play the music, and like nothing really will change, but your crops still get watered automatically, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Actually, you know what, I'll start by watering my crops, why not? Perp a derp a derp a derp. No, don't water the ground. I can I always remember, I can always reset if today goes bad, so I can feel free to try new stuff. Try a little something new. Try a little something different. Try a little something different, but new. I have no idea where my horse is, so I'll whistle for him just to give the extra affection boost. Alright. Hey, Karen. Ha. Uh, here, take this. Kaya! I love this! I'm so happy! Don't talk to me so much! Man, she is a jerk! <laughs> Karen's my least favorite of the Bachelorettes by far. The Bachelorettes, yes. The Bachelorettes play. Today I do want three flowers. Actually, maybe four. Yeah, four wouldn't hurt. Hello, hey. Thank you! It's a, it also is important to befriend the Harvest Sprites before autumn. That will play a role in Karen's photo. Alright. Another flower. And the very berry. If I don't get the edible grass, it's not too big of a deal. We're kind of, we've kind of reached the point where money's not quite as big of a deal as it was at the very, very beginning. But yeah, there's more to do today than usual. I need to make sure to get Maria in the library. Want to get Ellie in the bakery. She'll be there today. I also need to go to Green Ranch, buy a chicken, give something to Anne. And give something to Rick as well. Maria's most important. If I don't get a chicken till tomorrow, th then fine. But Maria, it's, a, it's very important we give her something every day. Oh. Also important to give her a gift and talk to her, because both of those actions give her an affection boost. Talking to her only gives her an affection boost once per day, though. Hey, Rick! Hey, buddy. 
Oh, thank you so much. Hi, how's it going? Sorry that my shop's closed so often. It takes, I think, five gifts, usually, to get Rick to start fixing stuff for you. Hi, Ellie. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. We're closed Mondays and holidays, too. That's nice. I envy you, the young fear nothing. That's not correct, Grandma. At the very least, young people are afraid of embarrassing themselves. Hello! Nice weather, isn't it? Mailman. Okay. Pick up things you want to buy. Do you want to ask me any questions? Oh, hang on. Oh, don't need anything? I didn't introduce this guy. This is Doug. He's Ann's father. He runs Green Ranch. First thing we want to do is buy some chicken feed. That's chicken feed. 10G per meal. You can get as much as you like. So chicken is 1,500. I'll start by getting 10 chicken feed. It's cheap enough. Alright, I'm gonna buy animals. Chicken. Okay, I'll take it to the farm today. There are no cancellations and no refunds. Why would I want to take a chicken back? The chickens are amazing. Like, really good. Hello, Anne. What? Is that for me? Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Don't talk to me. No, I think Gray and Karen would make a great couple. Or a terrible couple. They're both very similar. Keep it in a shack. Name it and care for it. We get to name our chicken! Sweet! Uh, let's see... Doodle, why not? Alright, there is one last thing of edible grass we want to get. That's another 30G in our pocket, so you better believe I want it. Oh, actually, maybe maybe Zack does pick up your shipments on festival days. So chickens are kept in here, in the chicken coop. Oh, and I must have entered it literally exactly as the time changed. So this is our chicken? Doodle. Right now, all of these are hers. All we want to do is put feed in one bin. So that's Doodle's bin. Actually, no. Only that one is Doodle's bin. So we'll only put chicken feed in this first one. As we get more chickens, like the second chicken we get, that'll be her, like her uh, little feed bin. That'll be the third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. This is our egg laying place. So if as long as you keep your chickens fed, they will lay eggs every day. And we can put an egg in here and it'll incubate. And then a few days later, a brand new chicken will hatch. You can also sell eggs, give them as gifts, or use them for a third purpose. Basically, eggs are really, really good, so get a chicken as soon as possible. Alright. Might as well fill up my watering can. I'm right here. And I'm gonna stop cutting the... Oh, there's my horse. What are you doing back here? I'm gonna start cutting up stumps as opposed to crushing rocks. Stumps take up more spaces. It's better to level up your axe than your hammer. And plus it gives us lumber. Alright, there's one stump in particular. This one that I really wanted gone. Oh yeah, cool. Oh wow, we're going to bed early tonight. Sweet. Once again, always make sure you level up your watering can on night, at night. Or just any time, but night's most convenient, because if you run out of stamina, you can just go to bed and get some of it back. Every For every hour you sleep, you get a certain amount of stamina back. So, like, if you go to bed earlier, you're going to get more stamina back. Oh, I just realized it was stupid of me to fill up the watering can since I'm just doing this. Oh, well. That's one of the nice things. In addition to being able to water more crops at once when you get the better watering can, it also can hold more water. What's the weather going to be like? Still sunny, of course! It's a perfect day, la 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 la. It's a perfect day. 
So now we need to remember to feed our chickens every day. That shouldn't be too hard, though. Yoo-hoo, brother! I'm not your brother! Hey, brother, I came to see your chicken! It lays eggs, right? I want to collect them next time! See ya! I think I feel like I give that kid a different voice every time he appears on screen. Whatever. I'm no professional voice actor, so I don't really care. Today's Wednesday, so Rick very well could be closed today. But also, Rick could be standing outside of his shop today, so we could still give him a gift and potentially fix up the music box. So I'm gonna get a uh, third flower. Worst case scenario, we can go to Green Ranch, give it to Anne, or Karen, or someone like that. Technically speaking, I don't even need to talk to Karen or give her gifts at all until fall. But, I mean, if I do that, we really won't get to see her character development, so... It would be nice for me to at least get her up to a blue heart by natural means before fall. But that's kind of on the back burner, not too important. I really like it as Harvestman 64, but darn it, there are some things that the GBA version just does way better. Being able to take stuff out of your rucksack without having to pause the game is definitely one of those. I heard your grandpa just got too old to work the farm. Well, f shut up, dude! It's still a s soft spot, so come on. F thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Uh, she's still shy around me, it's cute. Yeah, I just realized I didn't never went over any of the characters' personalities. So Maria, yeah, she she's the receptionist at the library. She really likes reading books. She really likes old books. She also likes going out into the woods and like looking at insects, which is kind of cool. She's very shy at first, but she gets a bit more confident once you befriend her a bit. Ironically, like when she's at a white heart, she's very embarrassed around you, and when she's at a pink heart, she's even more embarrassed around you, which is great, like very cute. I should probably go... Okay, so Rick is not outside his tool shop. Or maybe he just doesn't appear until 10 o'clock. Nah, Rick's just not here. Hello, nice weather, isn't it? So Harris, he's the mailman also. I never mentioned this, so there's the five main girls who you can marry. There are also five main guys in the game who, like, are your rivals for the girls, so... Harris, the mailman, he's Maria's rival. So, like, if you don't marry Maria, Harris will. Hey, Papori. Or Papari. Hello. See ya. Keep up the good work. Okay, apparently she didn't, really doesn't want to talk to me. Ellie will be in the flower shop on Wednesdays in the morning. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Howdy. Restoring the color farm, eh? Okay. What do I want to save up for next? Remember, sir, I think my potatoes are about to fully grow. So I could buy three more cabbage seeds. Yeah, three more cabbage seeds. Sounds good. I'm also gonna buy Moondrop flower seeds. They get planted in the spring, one pack costs... Oh, I guess I'm not. They're 300G apiece. They're the worst seeds. They are literally the worst seeds. Alright, well, Rick was a no-show, so guess what, Anne? We don't need to get Anne to a maximum heart until... Winter? Or I guess end of fall, because first day of winter is her photo event. Why is that for me? Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, repetitive text, you gotta love it. Never showed this off. This is the house that... All three of them share with only one bed. Actually, never mind. Anne does not live in there. Anne lives in the back of the store, which is kind of weird. Still, Gray and Doug share one twin-sized bed. Don't really want to know how that works, but whatever. Let's both do our best. So it's important to note, uh, for the rivals, if you befriend them instead of the girls... Then they will actually, like, marry the girls more quickly. Wow, thank you very much! So, like, if, if I did not befriend Maria at all and instead befriended Harris, he would get married to Maria much more quickly than he would otherwise. Also, if I never get Maria beyond a white heart, he could end up marrying Maria before I get the chance to. But if you get a girl up to a blue heart, then they won't get married to their rivals until you get married. So it is kind of important to befriend all the bachelorettes. 
Say it again. Bachelorettes. It's important to befriend all of them if you're not sure which one you want to marry. Sorry, I can't talk today, apparently. Alright. So as you can see, she laid an egg. First thing we're going to do, put that in the incubator. We want to get another chicken as soon as possible. But after that, though, we're going... I have a special thing I want to do with the egg tomorrow. And then... Ellie really, really likes eggs. Eggs give Ellie a much bigger affection boost than other, cro uh, than other gifts. So that's a good way to level her up. But I also want to make sure Maria's the one who has the most affection for me by my birthday. But with the music boxes, that shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, I didn't even realize my cabbages grew. I should have given one of those to Maria instead. So yeah, I'm actually not going to sell those cabbages. Those are just for Maria. That's all today's shit, man. I'm taking it. You do that. Woo! That is tough work. So tonight, I'm actually not going to max out my- or start leveling up my watering can. Because I want to make sure I have maximum stamina in the morning. And this will all play a role into with the egg. That did not make sense. Basically, I've got a plan for the egg tomorrow, and it requires me to have maximum stamina. I will still, however, go around my farm cutting up lumber. You've seen these stumps in the uh, Moon Mountain? Yeah, these do the same thing, and they regrow every day, unlike these stumps. So that's the main way you get lumber. And again, once we level up the axe, we'll be able to destroy those stumps much more quickly. Sweet. You know what? Might as well start watering that middle one. It'll grow before the end of spring. Okay. Let's see what time it is. Okay. I might... No, you know what? I'll do one more day. Actually, no. Nah. No, I won't. I've been doing this for long enough. So, I'm going to end the episode off there for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Flarty. I hope you tune in for the next episode. We'll be doing some more stuff. Also, we'll be befriending girls by giving them really good gifts. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless, as always.